couldn't tell you today, they've been opening a little bit later. Yeah. Alright, well what happened yesterday? You went inside Lululemon, you were mouthing off and you were spitting at their entrance and they called the police on you. So you're lucky you left with your mate here earlier yesterday. I don't mind you here, but you oh. can't be causing issues, yeah, alright? But, but, but you don't need it with the crap I've been with. Yeah, I know, but you don't have to go into a store and give them trouble. Oh, yeah, all right, I'll go right? to Oh, well, they're not open. Yeah, yeah so that's all right. Yeah. That's all right. But yeah. they did call the police on you yesterday. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. All right? Yeah, yeah, no. So, like I said, I don't mind you here, but if you're not causing issues, all right? Yeah, yeah, sorry, man. It's just okay, no worries. Shit in my head. That's yeah. Right. Yeah, like every day. What's every going on, man? People follow me around, like these, these workers, these, these idiots, man, follow me around, mm. chase me around. I don't know what it is, man. What, what issues you got going on with your None. life, man? I've I'm, been here a week and a half. Have you where you come from? Well, New South Wales. Have you? Like, I, I lived here for 15 years, but then I left for years. Mm. And you come back? A week and a half ago, and mm. man, they shit off. And what, the, you're on the methadone program now? Nah, suboxone. Okay. Yeah. And what does that do to you, calm you down a bit? Yeah, yeah. Mate, I, just had, I just had two valiums, so I should be alright. Mate, best advice I can give to you, go see like the guys at like Salvation Army or something, man, as well. I have, well, I have. You've gone, go and, go and Salvo, Salvation Army? Yeah, I've been going everywhere. Yeah, yeah. and they've been helping you? Nope. What's, how come they're not helping you? They're telling me to go detox, you know, detox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every night. Because if, if, you, if you're taking like drugs or something like that, or getting drunk, of course they can't help you. But it's up to you if you want help, man. Who can't you help know? me though? Salvos? Yeah, if, you, if you're going there, if you're intoxicated or drug affected. No, you I, know? I, I haven't been there like that though. Mm -hmm. I leave my dose, you know, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I leave for mm -hmm. medication. Mm -hmm. But like yesterday, I, that was, yeah, I'm not usually like that. Do you, know, do you know what changed me, man? I used to, I used to be addicted to steroids. So Turn to God. Yeah? Yeah. Set me free. Yeah. Set me free, man. Actually, talking to you just makes me feel a bit better. You know? Yeah. Have you you know, change my life. You've, you've, you've heard about being born again? Yeah. I come to God, man, and change my life. You were steroids or addictive to drugs? Oh, no, they were still addictive. Oh, yeah, well, really? Yeah, absolutely. You get you get used to that, that feeling, the way they make you feel, See, the way like their strength. Things. Yeah, I used to. I, I used don't to. anymore. I had to stop it. Yeah. I even went to the gym on my wedding day. I left my wife and went to the gym. Oh, man. did you really? That's how nuts I was. Oh, no. And they you know, on my wedding day. day. Yeah, absolutely. So I got set free of that. Yeah. Do you have any pain in your body? Yeah, I've got osteoarthritis, I need a whole Okay, can you feel pain right now? Yeah. Alright, so so can I pray for you, mate? Because I see miracles. Yeah, 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 you can. Alright, alright, so you can feel that pain right now? Yeah. Alright? Right now, in Jesus' name, I command that pain to go. Yeah. I command complete healing. You tell me if you start feeling something around there. Right now, every bit of pain going. A foul spirit of infirmity, you come off him. Any spirits of addiction, you come off of him right now. You got some anxiety and depression? Oh, mate, you have no idea. All right, come off him right now. I'm just going to put a hand on your shoulder. Yeah. Bible says, as a believer, you can lay hands on the sick and they will be healed. Right now, every foul spirit of depression and anxiety lift off of him right now. What's your name? Damien. Damien, my name's Terry. There you go, man. Right, set him free. Right now, every spirit of heaviness you lift off of him. Yeah. Complete healing of his body right now. Actually, that's right feel now. a bit better. Okay. Right. So, move it around and tell me about the pain level now. Oh, it's still there. Is it getting better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All it's right. getting better. All right. Lord, yeah. thank you for that healing so far. Right now, come on. Every bit of healing, any foul spirits causing him pain and discomfort, you loose him right now. Healing to that hip. All arthritis be gone. Right now. Right. Walk around. Walk a bit. Walk around. How's that pain level, man? That's actually a bit better. That's actually a bit better. Right, a bit better? Yeah, thank you. Well, it's sin, man. I can't do that. 
Yeah. All right. So there's just a sign for you, man. God's real. Yep. Have you get yourself to a church? Like man. the other day, I, I um I walked into a bottle and I tripped up really badly, mm. like coming out of the corner. You fell on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. And I said, mate, I'm gonna. I'm gonna I went back and said, look, man, I said, but maybe I should get the money to get it fixed. <laughs> right. So how's the pain right now? No, it's good. It's good. I'm not lying to you. Yeah, no, yeah. I've seen it more than a thousand times, man. Yeah. So what's the level at? What was it before? Pretty bad? Good ten, yeah. And what's it now? Five. Right, even more. Even more pain go. So walk around again. Walk around a bit. It's better? Yeah. Right, man. Just a sign for you. Get get the church, man. If you really want help, yeah. the Lord's there with open arms. Yeah. This is a sign for you, man. This is, you know, um, right? Yeah, I know. I know. I've got to do something. If you want to clean yourself up, it's yeah. your choice. Yeah, yeah. Stop serving the darkness and turn to the light. But it's hard when the dick is like this. Well, this is... Person, okay. Man. So that's why it's hard, but you need to surround yourself with good people. Get into a church. All right? And even if you start with the Salvation Army and services they have there, okay? So where's the Salvation Army? Pulteney Street. Pulteney Near Pulteney Street. Street. Right, there's a heap of churches around. We're called the City of Churches. Oh, yeah, I know Turn that. Turn to God, yeah. man. Turn to God. They just they change my life. Today, can't I? Yep, absolutely. Like, if you if you honestly want help, if yeah. you honestly want change, I do that. Otherwise, I do. I'm okay. Sick of it. I'm 40 so then, years old now. Then turn to God. So you like yes, I'm not everything. Like I only come up with vague clothes and a swag. Yeah. Mm. One, the first one is to get off. You sold my swag, my street swag. Then yesterday, someone's come back, stole all my clothes, my yeah. whole bag. So do you know what? In the Bible it says, <coughs> don't worry about any of those things. No, you, put God, you, put, you put God first, yeah. everything else will come. But you, you need to that, that change your heart, that repentance, okay? Yeah, right. We've all done bad stuff, man. All yeah. of us, every single one of us. But there's a way out, yeah. right? That's your choice. Yeah. All right, mate? All right. Thank you very your much. Your choice, mate. I okay? It, You're yeah. welcome, mate. Thank Bless you. you. Hello there. Hello. Hi. If I can get you to go up maybe in a, in a lift or something, she'll coming down there with all people in front of you on one hand and even on the phone. I tried the lift, there's lifts and lifts on both the lifts. So. Yeah, so just for safety, because if, if it, it let go, you'd clean up a whole heap of people, that's no, all. I know you're right. Yeah. Well, I know I should do the wrong thing. I was actually, what was my idea actually? I shouldn't tell you. Yeah. Thing, but but my, my husband died a little while ago. Was a counsellor. I rang her just to get a phone number. She ended up giving me some counselling. Mm. I thought... I live here, she lives here and I live in Sydney. If I go down the list, I'll lose her. Yeah. So that's the only reason I did the bad thing. Oh, that's, so that's, that's all right, that's all right. I'm just worried about wrong. safety. If you want some counselling, what changed my life? God. Oh, no. Okay, and, uh, you know, and you know, you, you, you heard about, you know, being born again and that type of thing, that change of person. I got that calling, I started going back to the church and, you know, I, I got Jesus back in my life, changed my life. I was addicted to steroids, addicted to other things, just lust, womanizer, everything. And just change my life, you know. Just, you know, and you, you know, I, 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 I'm with you. I've, I've had a very tragic, a very difficult life, mm. and um, it was really beautiful this morning because I've been fighting for it. Yeah. I actually, ha I, I believe nothing happens without God. Yeah. But what happened? Yeah. Um, I had a number of things happen where you get overcrowded, you know. Yep. Yeah. This morning, for the first time in many, many, over 20 years. The little light that I know is God just yeah. came to me and I went, yeah. thank you. Well, a Bible passage for you, which meant so much to me, Matthew 6.33. It actually starts from 25. I don't know what's going on in your life. But in that passage, uh, if I summarise it, it says, you know, don't worry about what you're going to eat, what you're going to wear, what everything happening in your life. Verse 33, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Everything comes to you as that heavenly father. So when you put him first, when you seek his face, the hand comes. Allow God to bless you. Right. I don't tell this to everybody. No, no, but, but you know I mean, what? That's why I was meant to come down here. Mm, mm. I did that. You know why? Because God, God sometimes, sometimes mm. you think it's the wrong path, mm. but it's the only path yep. to where you need to go. So you wouldn't so, talk to me otherwise. So life, would have been just no one. Life changing. That's Do right. you have any pain in your body? Yeah. Don't tell me where it is. No, I've, uh, I see people here when I pray for them. Don't tell me where it is. You can feel that pain right now. Okay, right now in Jesus' name, I command all that pain to go. Right now, every burden come off of her. Right now, my name's Terry. Every burden come off of her. Every bit of heaviness, every bit of oppression, you leave her right now. Right now, any anxiety you come off of her, complete healing to that pain. Right now, in Jesus' name. Are you feeling anything around that area where you had the pain? Yeah. All right, so some people will feel a heat, some people electricity, some people nothing. So move around and see how that pain is.
my toes tingling because yeah? I hit my toe the other day. Okay, so is that where the pain <laughs> was? Okay, so how's that? How's the toe? Feeling better. Feeling better? Good. Now you've got emotional pain? So right now just say, Jesus, Jesus. heal me of that emotional pain. Heal me of that emotional pain. Right, so can I put a hand on your shoulder? Right now, just Holy Spirit, just flow through her, bring her peace. Lord, I ask that you bring her direction and strength. Guide her paths, walk with her, Lord. Strengthen her and Holy Spirit, just fill her now. Bring peace upon her right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Feel at peace? Yeah. God bless you. Okay, you're probably wanting to go into Coles to grab something? Yeah. Follow the Lord. Yep. I believe in that. Yep. God bless you. Hello, mate. How are you going? Doing all right? Hello. Do you remember ages ago you were here and are you you were with a partner with someone, the Lebanese guy? Was it? Oh, he was doing the construction before of your shop, I think. There? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, maybe. You guys are from Sydney, aren't you, originally? Do you remember upstairs and I prayed for you guys and you had the stomach problem and all that type of thing? How's it I been? I always remember. Yeah, yeah, how's it been? Since that day, oh. I, since that day I prayed for you, completely healed, completely yeah. gone? Well, Never praise had God. that issue. Praise God. How, yeah, was that a constant thing you had before? Yes. I remember. How many years did you have you know, that? How many times me and Chris has been talking about it? Yeah. Chris had a problem with his... Uh, Yes, like, his foot, or was it ankle or knee or something? Yeah. And there, that he, left. He that, couldn't do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. On that day? Yes. So, and he's been he's good fine. as well. How many years did you have your stomach problem? A couple of years. A couple of years. Yeah. And after that prayer, bang, gone and never come back. And that was maybe two or three In years ago? Next morning? Yeah. Perfectly good. So, with that knowledge, what have you done? Just carried on your life as normal? I've been being. Uh, not really. That changed me. Yeah, good. Supposed to. So being, you know how we say be truly, yeah, be truthful. Yes. And to yourself first. Yes. Then to people. Yep. So I've been trying to be more positive. Yep. More transparency mm -hmm. for myself. Mm -hmm. Because if I do it to myself, then mm -hmm. I can do it to people. Yeah. I have tried to many people who were negative in their life, mm -hmm. I'm trying yep. to keep them positive. So, when you die, and we're all going to die, when you die, where are you going to go? Heaven or hell? I don't know. Should you find out? <laughs> you want to be sure I'm going to heaven. Should <laughs> so, what it is, and you see it's real what I was talking about, you see there's real power there, mm -hmm. right? It was Je Jesus, yeah. right? Mm. So remember, I don't know. Like th th this is the gospel. I I'm gonna, I'm gonna test something for you. Mm. Just to be honest with me, mm. are you a good person? Don't have answer. Not really. Yeah, not really. So guess what? You're being honest. None of us are. Bible says none of us are good. We've all lied and or cheated yeah. or stolen or you know. That's right. Use God's name, you know, fornication, sex before marriage, yeah, all of this, yeah, all yeah, of us. Yeah. We broke God's law, mm -hmm. right? So we're all guilty, um, you know? Yeah. Oh, but judge, yes, I'm guilty. I robbed that bank, I'm guilty. But hey, I'm nice to these people. I'm nice to those, but no, you're still guilty, right? So what did God do for guilty sinners? Mm. You, God, prob yeah. you probably know, but you don't understand it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? Yeah. Jesus died on the cross. So what it is, if you're in a court, a court of law, and say for instance you you committed some crimes or yeah. you have maybe maybe you have twenty thousand dollars in speeding fines, you're guilty. Yeah. The judge says, Well, I'm gonna send you to jail. Mm -hmm. But then someone says, uh, judge, I'm gonna pay for him. Because I love him, I'm gonna pay. Okay. The judge gonna to say to you, Do you accept this offer? Should I send you to jail or are you gonna accept? What he's doing. What are you going to say? I'm going to accept. Yeah, that's the yeah. easiest So answer. the minute you accept, right, then the judge can say, okay, you're free. Free to go. Even though you're guilty, somebody paid your fine. Yeah. That's what Jesus did on the cross. He I paid understand. the punishment for us. Yeah. We're all bad. We deserve on oh, the cross. Okay. But he did that for us. 
He was without sin. He did that for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he defeated death and he rose three days later. Right. And you see this power, power of the Holy Spirit. And that's it. And all you've got to do, simple. Nothing we can do. We, we yeah. continue to be bad. Yeah. We try. We turn from that bad stuff. Okay, yeah. I'm not going to do that anymore. Mm. And I'm going to receive what you did. Thank you for what you did for me. And have the faith in Jesus. Yeah. That's it. Bang. Then your sins, you're washed clean. Mm. You're washed clean. It's that simple. I understand. Yeah. He paid the price for you. He paid the price for me. Thank you, Jesus. Happen. He paid the price. Happen. The only yeah. religion where your God sacrificed himself for that's us. Right. That's right. Everything else is just false religion. Mm. Alright, so that's it, I man. Understand. I understand. You got any other issues? Right. Have you have you got some anxiety, some depression? No, all good? I've been positive then mm. since then. Yeah. You know, I never had any anxiety attacks. Yeah. And you did before? Yeah. So remember yeah. what I did? I commanded those bad spirits off yeah. you. Uh, like always, I'm, I'm staying positive. Yeah. Always. Again, another touch. Close your eyes and relax. Just close your eyes. Touch him again, Holy Spirit, right now. Right now. Even more. Bring peace upon him. Lord, flood him now. Change that heart. Lord, guide him and strengthen him. Lord, do a work in him. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus. Peace. What do you feel from that? Whoa. What did you feel? Whoa. Something. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. When, I, when I prayed for you, for the Holy Spirit to touch you, the Holy Spirit touched you. Could feel it. Yeah. You could feel it. All right? Yep. Another sign for you, God is real. Jesus died for yep. you. Yep. All right? So what you need to do, don't just continue on with your life and try to do good in your own strength. None of us are good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You put your faith in Jesus. Mm. All right? Do you have a Bible? You get me a book. Yeah. You've got to read it though. Not just put yeah. it away. Wipe the dust off. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? Because you need to make sure when you die, when are you going to die? You need to yeah. be sure. Yeah. What, uh, ask me, when am I going to die? Guess what? It doesn't matter. I'm going to be with my father. Yeah. All right? It doesn't matter when I'm going to die. Where am I going? I'm going to heaven. Okay? So you see, again, this is real. So I knew the Holy Spirit going to touch you. Yeah. Again, just to show you. Okay? You never experienced nothing like this before, did no, you? No, no. Were you brought up in a Hindu faith? No. What faith I'm were Sikh. you? Sikh. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And you see, did even in the Sikh, did you experience anything like this? No. Okay? No. Yeah. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Mm. And do you know how his standard is so high? We get told, pray for your enemy. Do good to your enemy. Love your enemy. What? How can I do that? Mm. But through him, you can do it. You say, Jesus, come into my life. I receive what you did. Be my Lord and Savior. Simple as that. Mm. But you decide. Even yeah. at home, in your time, get on your knees. Lord, show me. Change yeah. me. You know? Right. And you will feel that presence yeah. come and just tears. Just when when his presence comes, so much love, you just just yeah. like water yeah. 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 coming. Happens. It's real man. Yeah. Alright? Thank you. Thank you, mate.